Hidden behind every dream is a resolute passion and a commitment to a cause. These latent elements not only challenge talent and creativity, but also provide unlimited energy to turn that dream into reality. A decade ago, driven by similar ambition and motivation, a group of people introduced a vision, financial services for all, which asserts that economic opportunity is a basic human right and access to financial services is essential for utilizing economic potential. This vision was the beginning of KASHF, a microfinance organization which recognized the need to alleviate poverty by giving poor households a chance. When we began our initial work in microfinance, in the field of microfinance, we had several challenges. We were first told that we will not find women to work with us. We were also told that we will not get our money back. And we were also to told that people in Pakistan are extremely dishonest and it's no point doing microfinance for the poor. I'm very glad to say that all these myths were proven wrong with time. In fact, within three months of starting our program, we not only found female entrepreneurs in the field, we also found female staff to work with us. And over the past 10 years, we've always gotten our money back. Kash, inspired by the concept of the Grameen Bank methodology, has evolved through comprehensive research and dedication. Unlike traditional microfinance, it provides cost-effective and quality microfinance services to poor households, enabling women to play a more constructive role in economic decision-making. Kashf's objective is to alleviate poverty and increase women's empowerment through investments in sustainable livelihoods by delivering pro-poor and pro-women microfinance services. The organization has come a long way in empowering women in a male-dominated society. What was initially regarded a threat to male autocracy is not only acceptable today, but welcomed and appreciated. Our government people are giving a very good response. I have felt this thing that there is a government that is coming to complete their needs to complete their needs. It is a very important role. Kashf took its initial step with a research program which aimed at highlighting the credibility and economic competence of impoverished women. The organization realized that poverty affects both men and women and that poor households know best where to invest their loans. Therefore, the saving services and loans were tailor-made to deal with the needs of poor households. We're focusing on the vision of delight the customer, which means that we want our clients not just to be satisfied, but to be really delighted by the quality of product and services that we offer. This means that every interaction that a Kash client has with a staff member should really be meaningful and valuable. Kash's clear client focus was one of the prime reasons for its success. The outreach program has been better able to address the problems of clients and the community by reaching out to the most needy. Microfinance acts as a very secure safety net for poor households. It's not just about economics, but it's also about social stability. For example, if we take the case of women, the centers that Kash builds actually enables the women to generate uh, self-confidence, enables them to have associative strengths. It's an opportunity just to sit down and discuss daily problems. It's the opportunity of knowing that they're not alone. It's an opportunity of building solidarity. And that's something microfinance uh, does much better than a lot of other development uh, strategies. Over the years, the institution has enhanced its assistance to low-income communities by its progressive framework and by embedding a social vision within the microfinance program. As part of social advocacy and capacity building project, leadership, gender training, and reproductive health sessions are also organized in these areas. Another unique approach to addressing social themes is Kashf's interactive theater. A dramatic and dynamic performance is followed by a process which invites the audience to vocalize its view of social change. These sessions not only foster social bonding, but also provide learning opportunities and recreation. 
Kashf's revolutionary act to develop economic and civic well-being has opened a world of inspiration and opportunity to low-income communities. Kashf is about positive affirmation. It's about making men and women from low-income households feel that they matter. Emerging as one of the most efficient microfinance providers in Pakistan, Kashf has spread out to urban, semi-urban and rural areas and demonstrated that a program targeting poor women can be sustainable. Ranked amongst the world's top microfinance institutions due to its outreach, innovation and sustainability of microfinance services in Pakistan, Kashf has created a niche in banking for poor women. With a streamlined development plan, the organization focuses on demand-driven growth. It is actively engaged in introducing well-researched products and innovation in its services through strategic investment in quality and quantity. Our research has shown that 34% of our clients are able to move beyond the poverty line within a period of three years of accessing loans. Today, Kash proudly boasts of a rapidly growing family which speaks of its achievements in terms of economic and social performance with its strong foundations in microfinance and its professional approach, Kashf has an ambitious vision of what it wants to achieve in the future. What is needed really, from my point of view in the future, is management depth. So that if you shine a torch at the top of the organization, the light should shine right through, right to the bottom layer. And this is what we're working on, and this is the biggest challenge for the future. And I'm sure and I'm confident that we're going to achieve it. I think one of the key strengths of Kashf is that we are a learning organization where we focus strongly on analyzing our experiences, taking risks and initiative, looking out for new opportunities and learning from our mistakes. Uh, this enables us to plan strategically, look forward and become change agents. Building financially sustainable services and giving value and commitment to clients, Kash aims to change the concept of survival of the fittest to survival for all. I'm extremely impressed that Kash has become a billion rupee organization reaching out to hundreds of thousands of households. As Kash grows forward, uh, the learning and development piece becomes essential so that the quality of our services remain of a very high nature. Our vision is actually to reach out to about half a million clients over the next five years.